Hey guys, I've got another story for you. This one's from England, from London, England, in the east end of London. I was teaching three and four year olds in a preschool type um, situation. In England, um, it's a very different setup to Australia. The, the preschools are not separated from the um, primary schools, they're attached. And so I was working as a team teacher, there was a few other teachers, um, teaching three and four year olds, which I really enjoyed for a few months, it was great fun. Um, however, this story is about a couple of kids that were pretty crazy. I felt really sorry for them actually because I'm sure they had pretty shocking home lives. Um, I'm not sure what was going on there, but you know, they didn't seem to be coming from um, families where they were very well looked after, um, had pretty tough home lives. Anyway, this one kid, his name was Jacob, this boy, um, African background um, kid, and his little friend Kumba. And Kumba was this cute little girl with, you know, big eyes and curly hair and um, beautiful little kid. But they, these two kids were pretty off the wall, pretty naughty, especially Jacob. He was like the ringleader. He was like the, the, the leader. And uh, he used to run around the place pretty, pretty off his head, you know, just running around screaming and causing trouble and um, getting into all sorts of trouble. Anyway, one day I was sitting down with some kids, reading them a story in this um, back area of the, of the school, just reading a couple of stories to them. And um, one of the other teachers came back from lunch um, so we were down a few, a few teachers because a couple of them, or a few went to lunch. Anyway, she came back from lunch and she came up to me and said, Mark, um, come here for a second. So I didn't know what was going on. So I went with her and she took me into this, this um, it was like a area for keeping paint supplies and a general washing up um, laundry type Type of area where they kept all the art equipment and dried paints and had these taps and um, area for washing up. Anyway, I went in there and this kid Jacob, he had gone ballistic. He had gone off his head. What he had done was to turn on all the taps so all the water had gone onto the floor and flooded the floor. And worse still, he'd got into this dried paint. They had these massive containers of dried paint and he had just chucked it everywhere, just thrown it everywhere. He was covered in paint. The walls were covered in paint. The floor was covered in paint. It was this ocean of floating dried paint, which was now mixing the water, becoming wet paint. And he had just destroyed the place completely. And I couldn't believe it, my mouth was open my jaw was dropping like oh my god anyway so I, I couldn't even get angry I couldn't get angry because it was just so unbelievable what this kid had done anyway I was trying to get angry <laughs> I said to Jacob Jake Jacob what have you done and he looked at me and he looked at Kumba and he said Kumba did it I'm like man <laughs> You are covered in paint. You are wet. You are like panting with hysteria. You're like <laughs> covered in paint and wet. I'm like, man, I think you might have had something to do with this. You know, you might have been involved a little bit with this. Anyway, that was it. Kumba did it. So I hope you liked that story. Um, I'm sure we've all blamed someone else for something we did. Actually, I remember when I was a kid, mum and dad, I haven't told you this before, but once before when I was young, Maybe you knew, maybe I thought you didn't know, but maybe you knew. Um, in between our place and our next door neighbor's place, there was this like group of trees, bushes and trees. And um, I was a bit fascinated with fire at the time. And I didn't mean this for this to happen, but I lit um, this area and I was just gonna put it out, you know, a little bit of a fire. But the next thing, it was out of control and this fire has really started up and there was smoke pouring everywhere and I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? So I ran and I got the hose and I put it out and it was okay, it was fine, but you know, it did cause a lot of smoke and a bit of concern for uh, both my parents and the neighbors. 
Anyway, I think it was my mum said, Mark, what happened? And I said, oh, this kid walked past and he lit this fire and I just saw it, so I just put it out. You know, totally innocent. So, yeah, I'm guilty too. So, Jake and Kumba, if you hear this story, peace to you guys. It's a pretty funny story. Have a great afternoon. See you later, guys. Bye.